Let's get started. We'll get our system set up and get the data package that is required to follow the course along. The full course material, including the data set, is available at this link. You can visit this link. You'll also find the link given in the video description. The first step you want to do is get the data package. Uh, you can go and download the zip file called pyqgsmasterclass.zip. Once you download this, you can unzip it to a folder on your system, and that contains all the data set that we'll be using in the course. Many scripts in the course assume that you have the data package downloaded and unzipped into your downloads directory. So if you are unzipping it, if you follow this path into your home folder, if you have the downloads folder and unzip it inside of that, a lot of the scripts will work without any changes. On Windows, sometimes when you unzip it, it'll create Two folders so you'll unzip it it'll say which folder you want to unzip to and if you just choose the pyqgs masterclass it'll create a directory such as download slash pyqgs masterclass slash pyqgs masterclass don't do that make sure your path looks like this where you have the single folder in pyqgs masterclass and all the data directly there that'll make sure you don't have to modify any scripts and it'll just continue to work once you have the data package the next step is installing QGIS. We are using the QGIS LTR version. Remember, as a PyQGIS developer, you are always targeting the latest LTR version. Currently, the LTR version is QGIS 3.34. At a later stage, when there's a new LTR, we'll update all our instructions to use that LTR. So always make sure you use the current LTR version. We have step-by-step -step instructions given on this page. We have instructions for all the platforms, uh, Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, if you have using this on a flavor of Linux that is not officially supported, try using Conda. If Anaconda is supported, QGS is also available via Conda, and it just creates a really nice environment where you can use PyQGS API directly. Remember, you can have multiple QGS version on your system. So if you want to use the latest version or you are using a specific version of QGS for work, you can still install the LTR version side by side and use it. Most people run at least two versions of QGIS, the latest version and an LTR version. During the initial part of the course, we'll be using the built-in code editor in QGIS to run our scripts. And as we start building plugins, you'll need a text editor where you can write code. We have some recommendations for beginner-friendly text editors for Mac and Windows. You can use those. Those are free and good editors for beginners. If you have a favorite editor like VS Code, you can continue using that. Once the setup is done, let's move on to the next section and start learning about PyQGIS.